Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushan Sutish and I am your trainer for this Azure Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Azure Application Gateway. We are still on module 6, which is all about network traffic management. Application Gateway manages the request that client applications can send to a web app. An application gateway routes the traffic to a pool of web servers based on the URL of a request. This is known as application layer routing. The pool of web servers can be Azure Virtual Machine, Azure Virtual Machine scale sets, Azure App Service, and even on premises servers. The application gateway will automatically load balance requests sent to the servers. The application gateway will automatically load balance requests sent to the servers in each backend pool using a round robin mechanism. So the load balancing work with the OSI layer 7 routing implemented by application gateway routing, which means that it load balances requests based on the routing parameters, which can be host name and paths used by the application gateway rules. In comparison, other load balancers such as Azure Load Balancer function at an OSI layer 4 level and distribute traffic based on IP address of the target of a request. Operating at OSI layer 7 enables load balancing to take advantage of other features that Application Gateway provides. So what are the other features that it provides? Application Gateway supports the HTTP, HTTPS, HTTP slash 2 and WebSocket protocols and the web application firewall to protect against web application vulnerabilities. End-to-end -end request encryption is part of the Azure Application Gateway and Azure Application Gateway provides auto-scaling to dynamically adjust capacity as your web traffic and load change. So let's understand the application gateway routing. Clients send requests to your web application to the IP address or DNS name of the gateway. And then the gateway routes these requests to the selected web server in the backend pool using a set of rules configured for the gateway to determine where the request should go. And there are two primary methods for routing traffic. A path-based routing and a multi-site routing. So let's understand the path-based routing first. A path-based routing enables you to send requests with different path in the URL to the different pool of the backend servers. For example, you could direct request with the path slash video to the backend pool containing servers that is optimized to handle the video streaming and direct the images request to the pool of servers that handle the image retrieval. So what's the main difference in the multi-site routing? The multi-site hosting enables you to configure more than one web application on the same application gateway instance. In the multi-site configuration, you register multiple DNS names for the IP address of the application gateway, specifying the name of each site. And then the application gateway uses separate listeners to wait for the request for each site. Each listener passes the request to a different rule, which can route the request to servers in different backend pool. For example, you could configure the application gateway to direct all requests for contuso.com to servers in one backend pool and the request for fabricam.com to another backend pool. Please keep this diagram in your mind when I'm talking about this multi-site routing and multi-site configurations are useful for supporting multi-tenant applications where each tenant has its own set of virtual machines or other resources hosting web applications. Some of the additional features you can think about application gateway routing are redirection, rewrite HTTP headers, custom error pages, etc. 
application gateway has a series of components that combine to route requests to a pool of web servers and to check the health of these web servers. Let's understand these components in detail. So what is front-end IP address? The client requests are received through the front-end IP address. You can configure application gateway to have a public IP address, a private IP address or both. Application gateway can't have more than one public or one private IP address. Then what are listeners? Application Gateway uses one or more listeners to receive incoming requests. A listener accepts traffic arriving on a specified combination of protocol, port, host, and IP address. Each listener routes requests to a backend pool of servers following routing rule that you specify. A listener can be a basic or multi-site. A basic listener only routes a request based on the path of the URL and the multi-site listener can also route requests using the hostname element of the URL and listeners can also handle SSL certificates for securing your application between the user and the application gateway. So let's understand about the routing rules. A routing rule binds a listener to the backend pools. A rule specifies how to interpret the host name and the path elements in the URL of the request and direct the request to the appropriate backend pool. A routing rule also has an associated set of HTTP settings. These settings indicate whether traffic is encrypted between application gateway and backend servers and other configuration information such as protocol, session stickiness, connection draining, request timeout period, and health props. So then what about the backend pools? A backend pool reference a collection of web servers you provide. A backend pool references a collection of web servers. You provide the IP address of each web server and the port on which it listens for requests when configuring the pool. Each pool can specify a fixed set of virtual machines, a virtual machine scale set, an app hosted by Azure App Service, or a collection of on-premises servers as well. Each backend pool has an associated load balancer that distributes work across these pools. Then there is an additional optional feature which you can configure is called Web Application Firewall or WAF. This is very important for you to understand. The Web Application Firewall or WAF is an optional component that handles incoming requests before they reach a listener. The Web Application Firewall checks each request for many common threats based on the Open Web Application Security Project which is known as OWASP. These include SQL injection, cross-site scripting, command injection, HTTP request snuggling, HTTP response splitting, remote file inclusion, bots, crawlers, and scanners, and HTTP protocol violation and anomalies. WAF is enabled on your application gateway by selecting the WAF tier when you create a gateway. And last but not the least is health probes. And health probes are an important part of assisting the load balancer to determine which servers are available for load balancing in the backend pool. The application gateway uses a health prop to send a request to a server. If the server returns an HTTP response with the status code between 200 and 399, the server is deemed healthy. If you don't configure a health prop, Application Gateway creates a default prop that waits for 30 seconds before deciding that a server is unavailable. So that concludes the lesson on Azure Application Gateway. We are still on module six, which is all about network traffic management. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about Azure Traffic Manager. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.
Thank you.